Let's learn how to make a snapshot, or more specifically, a golden image of a running EC2 instance. Now, why would you want to make a snapshot of an instance? Well, in this case, you might get your instance to a state where you've configured it and it's got some really good stuff running on it. And perhaps you want to launch a whole bunch of identical servers that have the exact same software as what you just built running on them as well. And I've done something like that just now. So on my server, I have just launched an EC2 instance and I installed Apache and then I went into the um, HTML folder and I created a simple file that uh, let's show you what's in it. It's not very dramatic, but it demonstrates the point. It says, hello world, the cloud is wonderful. So I have customized a default installation of Apache. Now, in the real world, this could instead, instead of minutes of work, this could instead have been a website or an application that I've worked on for weeks or months. And now I need one or more of these and I want to make a backup of them and I want to perhaps in the future launch hundreds or thousands of them and I want them to all be identical. Okay, so the idea is you've configured something and you want to make copies of it in the future and launch new instances of it. What you can do is you can go over under Actions and click Image and Templates and then click Create Image. So this is a live running server right now and I'll call this My Cool Website 2. And then I'll select the rest of the defaults. This is going to use up a little bit of storage in my account but it won't cost too much. I will click create image and it's going to go about creating that image right there. Now if I go over here and I click on this list of AMIs it may reveal some interesting credentials that hackers would like to see related to my account so I won't do that but trust me it is there uh, and it's got the name that I just gave it. Now. It can take about five minutes or so for it to be ready, and I didn't want to wait five minutes on this video, so I made one right before that the identical way, and we'll watch uh, and, and learn now how that can be used. So I'll go ahead and I will click on Launch an Instance. Notice only one is running right now. Launch an Instance, and instead of using the standard AMIs that are typically here, I can now click on My AMIs. Now notice I've been talking for about a minute and a half and the one I just created isn't there yet. But if I wait about four more minutes, it will be. I'll create this one right here that's identical to that other one I just created. Um, and I will hit select. So, so when the other one is registered, it'll show up in here in just a couple minutes. And you would use it like this. You click on select next to it. And then you just go through the regular processes before. I'm going to use a t2.micro. If I wanted, I could spin up three of these. Hey, let's just for fun, let's just do that. Let's go ahead and do three. All right, and then we'll do um, uh, accept all the other defaults. Uh, as far as the security, because this is a website, I'm not, um, I want to use some firewall rules that allows in port 80 traffic. And it just so happens that previously uh, I used Launch Wizard 1 as the name of a security group and it not only has port 22 access but also port 80 so I'll reuse an existing security group and I will launch and I am going to use the demo key pair that I had created previously and let's give this a second to launch I will click on view instances alright so we have a whole bunch of these that are pending Usually our virtual machines spin up relatively quickly, so I'm thinking somewhere between 5 and 15 seconds for these to come live. We'll keep on hitting refresh any moment now. Waiting patiently. There we go. So, um, yeah, so I've been talking for 10 or 15 seconds, and it looks like all of them are running. So this one right here that says two of two uh, checks passed that was my original one that, that i created an image from and these three right here were created from my custom image 
Uh, and it says that these are initializing. Let's just click on any of these right now. It's running, but there's some other status checks that are initializing. So if I select one of them or any of them, each of them are going to have a unique I, uh, URL. And so I'll grab this and I'll type it in and hit return. And we're crossing our fingers. Oh, yay, it showed up. Okay, so there was a brief pause, it made me nervous. Let's go down to the next one. Uh, this is going to have yet another IP address uh, and, and a URL associated with it. Open that up. Uh, we're going to have a couple seconds while it resolves, and that does it as well. So the big idea here is that if you create an instance and you customize it, and then you use the actions to create an image of it, then it's then in your list of personal AMIs or Amazon machine images, and you can create unlimited versions of that or copies of that and run them in production. Okay, um, in this case, uh, you'll want to shut down everything that you possibly have just created, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of all of them, and then subsequently I'll go over into the AMI list uh, after I terminate this video and I will delete the AMI because it's going to use a relatively small amount of storage space and I will get charged for that. And so if you copy me, you should do the same. Have a good day.